This is the first part of uh, interviews with Mr. G. M. P. Rao, who has a vast ranging experience of training, training the technologists, training the operators, training the technicians, uh, not only in India but also in some Gulf countries. He also has an instinct of uh, training in NDA and in ordinance factory. So his what a vast experience of training and then uh, finally at the fag end of his career he taught in uh, engineering college and he was an expert in engineering drawing. So I had never, I did not have a pleasure of directly learning from it but during this uh, 40 minutes conversation with him I learned a lot from him. So you can also pick up some points from this interview. So over to the interview and uh, hope you will enjoy it. Namaskar. Today, I am. Uh, it's my pleasure that Mr. B G M P Rao is with me on my channel, and uh, I'll have a, a little chat with him. Uh, Mr. Rao has started his career way back in 1959, and uh, till uh, recently, about a year back or so, he was continuing as uh, a professor in an engineering college. So it's a long way. So welcome, Mr. Rao. Thank you. Uh, let us start. Uh, yeah. uh, you started around 1915 yeah. yeah. even. Yeah. Hmm. In 1959, after engineering, I happened to get into a multinational higher secondary school. Yeah. Multinational higher secondary school? Higher secondary oh. school. Mm -hmm. It was not by choice, but it was by chance. Uh -huh. I got into the teaching profession. And so you did your engineering degree or? No, diploma. You did your diploma, diploma okay. in mechanical engineering. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, after one year there, uh, I got an opportunity to serve in National Defense Academy, Kadabasta. Okay. National Defense Academy, Kadabasta. Uh, you did your education in uh, which place? Yeah, yeah, I guess you are from Karnataka. Yeah, I am from Karnataka. Yeah. Down here. Down here, right. Down here. I think some famous shooting yeah, is yeah, there. Yeah, down here, cotton mill. Yeah. Down here. Now, it is a very big city now. Mm -hmm. All colleges are there, medical mm -hmm. engineering. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I did it in '59, and then uh, I got this. You shifted to Kadagwasla. Mm -hmm. uh, that is first in a multinational yeah. school. Uh -huh. And and then uh, I got into the Kadagwasla. Mm -hmm. So I had the opportunity of teaching those cadets of inter services uh, for three years. I was there. I was teaching in workshops and engineering drawing. Okay. It's a very big establishment, Kadubatla, NDA. Uh, military? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Military yeah, yeah. Very, very mm -hmm. good institution. It's a... It's a... Um, for our country, it is near the whole of Asia. It is a, Such an institution is not there. Okay. It's one of the best mm -hmm. institutions. Mm -hmm. So after three years, I got a chance to work in uh, Ordnance Factory. Yeah, in Pune? No, no. I was recruited at Pune, uh -huh. but I was posted uh, near Uti. It is called okay. uh, Cardet Factory Arun Kadu. In Tamil Nadu. Uh, in Tamil Nadu. Mm -hmm. It is very near to Uti. Mm -hmm. So I was there for two years. And then uh, I got an opportunity to work in National Rayon Corporation, Kalyan, near Bombay. You said that is in private sector. That is a private sector. Mm -hmm. And there as a training superintendent, I was appointed. And uh, uh, we were conducting the training programs for this uh, apprentices under the uh, act, apprentice act. act. Okay. So you are, you are uh, training the operators as well as engineers. Yes. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, for the operators mainly, mm -hmm. there were so many trades, mm -hmm. uh, thirty-two trades. But we were taking only fitter, turner, machinery, electrician, and because it was a chemical plant, mm -hmm. so there was also a trade called mechanic for the maintenance. So the NRC, that is National Rail Corporation, it's a, it was considered as a blue chip company. About 6,000 people were working there. And uh, by the Apprentice Act... You joined at the, the time of the uh, project or when it was in running? No, it was already. It was started in 1948. That's it, started in 1948. And I, I uh, started in 65. Okay. In 65 I joined. So during 1960 there was a war between Pakistan and India. Was there any effect? Uh, no, no, no. That uh, actually, when I was in the ordnance factory, mm -hmm. then only that uh, war that was there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So at that time only I had to come here. 
So at uh, NRC, it was a long span, about uh, 16 years. I was 16 there. years. 16 years. Eighty-one. Okay. Eighty-one. Mm -hmm. And you continued uh, in uh, in near Bombay. Yes, or in Rovajet. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, you're the same place. Yeah, right. Same place. Mm -hmm. It is just near Kalyan. Mm -hmm. Near Kalyan. Mm -hmm. So it is very near to Bombay. Bombay yeah. So it is almost like Bombay only. So we were we were given quarters and all that. Mm -hmm. we were established. Mm -hmm. So for 16 years I was there. It was very nice. And it, it, because it was chemical plant, mm -hmm. I had the opportunity of seeing so many types of machineries. Okay. And, so, and during this period for machinery, have you any chance of going abroad or the supplies of the machinery? No, no. Because mm -hmm. I was on the training side only. Okay. Mm -hmm. Though I had the opportunity of interacting with so many departments. Okay. Because as a training mm -hmm. manager and mm -hmm. training student, you know, we always get the opportunity of interacting with all the department directs and all that. And we get the opportunity of seeing so many uh, machineries, so many operations, processes and all that. So that was a good... Uh, so that, that was your first long inning in the yeah, industry long, or corporate long, sector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Rao, you have shifted from a school to a military organization, yeah, yeah, yeah. to an ordinance factory and then to a corporate sector. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. all different uh, yeah, 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 yeah. sectors. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. what different menu you uh, found between the ordinance factory and uh, national land? It is national land. Yeah. Uh, yeah, national land. National land. You know, actually, in the military establishments, the discipline mm -hmm. and very systematic way of working that is there. So, because of that, the NDA, National Defense Academy. Mm -hmm. So, I had inculcated that discipline, nature, and all that, and that I wanted to uh, uh, continue with continue the, with uh, all the, other yeah, subsequent all, uh, okay, okay. companies mm -hmm. and organizations. Mm -hmm. So that's how I was in the Arnold's factory and Arnold's factory too. Uh, say National Rayon. And there you maintain the discipline. Yeah, yeah, very well. National Rayon, you see, actually, that was a uh, left out garage. So, uh -huh. right from scraping of the floor, we had to establish the training center. In, in, training, in, in, in National, National Rayon. I, I think National, strongly said, National Rayon was a public sector company, I think, not in private sector. Uh, no, it, it, it was a private sector. Private sector. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was by. Uh, Chinais. Chinais. So Chinais. Okay. Chinais. Okay. Then later on, uh, going kind of over there, taken uh -huh. Chinais. And uh, it was very good company. Means uh, uh, the raw material they used to get from Japan, Canada, and mm -hmm. all that. And uh, then they were also in the. And what were the quality systems that time? Quality was very well maintained. Man, man, no, there was well. Yes, yes, yes. Quality established. Because, you know, so many departments. Quality was there, production was there, so mm -hmm. many and labs were very good. Uh, hey, like lab. now we have got this ISO certification or uh, no, 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 yes, those times that certification was not there. Yeah, or internal yeah, systems yeah, yeah, were yeah. there. It was all established with themselves. Internal systems system. and they were very effective. Very effective. Okay. <coughs> because the rayon manufacturing, mm -hmm. the raw material, the viscose they used to get. Mm -hmm. <coughs> viscose they you get in shiploads uh -huh. from Japan and Canada and all that. And then some tankers it used to get shifted or directly to the government? No, because that railway is there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, right from shipyards they used to come to, up to the company. And uh, they were also manufacturing tire cars. Mm -hmm. And later on they went into the uh, nylon. Yeah, nylon, 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 nylon also. Okay. So, all the different. And for me it was a very big uh, learning experience. Because you will find so many types of machineries. So many. Chemical plant, it was, uh, you know, the right from size reduction to final product, how it is made. And it is very good uh, learning experience. So there, there used to be an on the job training for operators and engineers or on the classroom? You see, you see our operators, we used to have one day hmm. theory okay. and all of the five days on the job. On the job. On the job. So it was very practical oriented. No, but uh, uh, directly any uh, models were there in your... Yeah, we, 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 no, we had prepared the models. You have prepared yeah, the, models. Prepared the models. The complete plant yes. model and all yes. that we had made. And yes. 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 not only that, say for example, different types of walls. Hmm. So we used to get the uh, discarded walls discarded also, okay. and bring it back hmm. and uh, dismantle, do it and all that. You know. And supporting different types of pumps. Mm -hmm. Pumps, there are so many varieties, just if you say centrifugal pump. There are so many varieties. And, and then positive displacements, there are so many problems. From outside you will find it is just like a box. Wow. But inside what it is you do not know. There are there are something, even the so experienced ex uh, 
engineers and all that, mm -hmm. they cannot make out what is what. So that was the very intensive training we used to give to the apprentices. That is mainly for maintenance. Uh, yeah. Maintenance. Fitter, turner, machinist and all the Maintenance, yeah, basically. Yes, maintenance. Yeah, maintenance. Yeah, yeah. And one day I used to put them for theory. Theory. Theory means related theory, not unnecessary. Uh -huh. Say metals, what is mm -hmm. ferrous metals, non ferrous metals, where it is, what are the qualities, all these things. And then uh, workshop calculations. Means whatever the calculations required for the workshop, that much only we used to give. And then uh, drawing, it was very uh, elaborate, uh, very, 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 very intensive drawing. And means and means and they, were, they, were, they had to read. Any drawing which is given, they should be able to read. And how, how was the response of this? Very nice, very nice. Yeah. And when we were giving them training, we were not knowing mm. what their prospects would be there. But when the first batch passed out, and they were absorbed, ready, just like hotcakes, in New Zealand, all the such companies, then we came to know our training is very good. And it was called as ATC, Artisan Training yeah. Center. Artisan Training Center. I said you were training people for others also, other companies also. And it was no, 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 it was mainly for ours only. But people were, uh, they were taking out after some ah, experience. Ah, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, have you met anyone of uh, those trainees after yes, you yes, left? Yes, 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 yes. yes. And, and out of that, a couple of trainees are still in my contact. Achha, that's May, right. May, suppose you say, one fellow, mm -hmm. he, he was taken by a savvy group in mm -hmm. uh, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Actually, it is a very interesting story about him. He came from a very, very poor background. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, his elder brother, he had met with some accident and a uh, lower portion from uh, this thing, he was paralyzed. So he was in a very bad condition. And uh, he came from Karnataka. But we wanted that somebody should know Hindi, no? Hindi okay. or Marathi and all that. Mm -hmm. He was not knowing Hindi and Marathi. How many languages do you know? And speak? Mm -hmm. I know English, Hindi, Marathi, Kannada, Tamil. Uh, so many languages. So many, some four languages. Uh -huh. so, so, but that fellow was very good at maths. Mm -hmm. So we, and uh, they prayed, sir, please help me. Mm -hmm. So we had taken it. And he was so much hard working, intelligent fellow. And uh, even see drawings, some drawings, uh, say if three views are given, from three views or two views are given, from that he should be able to imagine and draw the okay. isometric view. Mm -hmm. Such drawings were there. And sometimes it was difficult for me also to imagine, but he would work on it day and night and he would say it is like this. So such, a, such an extent he was very good at drawing. So that fellow, he was observed in Sabi mm -hmm. you know, he just, Savi group may he was taken and he raised to such a level means he was maintaining air conditioned car there. there. And yeah. and you know it so happened uh, I tell you after my NRC uh, I was uh, I went to Bahrain also. Okay.